Baby, don't check for me. Taking time out to be and live my life. Hey guys, it's Sharika, and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. So, on today's video, I am going to share with you guys my top 10 most complimented fragrances. Um, I have a large collection. I did one of these videos last year and you guys have been asking me to do a more current video so that's what i have here for you today i would say maybe two fragrances from last year video made it to this video so we're gonna go ahead and jump right in the hair because i know i'm gonna get a lot of questions i'm not too sure what this unit is from um you guys know that i sometimes do hair reviews once i'm done with the review I put it in a bag full of hair and it always get mixed up so I wouldn't be able to tell you what unit this is. You, you would have to just go back and find it on some of my older videos. So just to set the vibe, I am drinking on some Cabernet. Y'all know that's my favorite. So we're sipping on a little bit of Cabernet. So this is in no particular order and I'm not the best at describing these scents so I'm going to do the best that I can and y'all know I really don't um, separate my fragrances from daytime, nighttime, summertime, wintertime. I just wear whatever I feel like wearing, whatever I'm in the mood for, whatever the vibes like. I just pick and choose what I like. If I have like my signature scent at that moment, I just go with that. So just keep that in mind. Um, but I do have my notes here, so I might look down a little bit, but just know I'm trying to give you the information, okay? Okay, so our first fragrance, and this was in the top 10 on last year's perfume collection, is the Chanel Chance Eau Vive. I think that's how you pronounce it, girl. Hey, don't talk about me. But this did make it in this year's top 10. I love this fragrance. Um, I started wearing this fragrance probably like 2019, I think. Um, I love it. The notes on this is grapefruit, blood orange, jasmine heart, white musk, and, and vertebrae. So, I really, really like this. Um, you could get this from Sephora. I'm, this is the 3.4 ounce bottle. I think this one probably looks like 135, 145, something like that. But you could get the smaller bottle, the 1.7 ounce for $95 at Sephora. This will always be in my collection. I love this fragrance. Some people don't really like this fragrance, which I don't know. I like very nice, fresh, clean smelling fragrances. And I just really, really like this one. It smells really, really pretty. And I love it a lot. So, yes. Chanel Chance. Next up is a recent purchase. I purchased this one this year and that is the MFK Gentle Fluidity. This fragrance is super, super, super good. Like I love the way this smells. As you guys can see, I'm like down to half and I plan on buying a new bottle pretty soon, but this one is, I would say this one is my husband's favorite. He loves the way this smells on me. I love the way that this works with my body chemistry. This smells really, really nice. It is worth the hype if you ask me. Um, the notes on this one is Jennifer Berries, Nutmeg, Curander, Musk, Amber Woods, and Vanilla. I ordered this from Saks because we don't have one here in Jacksonville. They don't sell these here in Jacksonville. You would have to order it from Nordstrom and then they send it to your house and all this, that, and the third girl. Don't ask me why they don't sell it here. Sometimes Jacksonville can be a little janky. But I ordered mine from Saks. This is the 2.4 fluid ounce bottle and mine was $235. So this one is really, really nice. I love it. Some people wear this on special occasions. I was thinking about making this my signature scent, but a lot of the girlies have this and I don't really like smelling like everybody else, but I really, really like this. I have some fragrances that I mix together um, that I think 
kind of smells similar to this so i'll show you guys that at the end of the video but if you have not tried the mfk gentle Flu gentle fluidity gold check it out i think they do have the little small um roller balls if i'm not mistaken but i think those are still like 95 dollars or something like that but to me it's worth the hype so next up is another purchase that i made this year and it is the ysl libre intense so i have the other two the parfum and then the toilet and then I decided to get the Intense because Kalila loves the Intense and it smells really nice on her. So I decided to get the small bottle just to see how it would work with my body chemistry and I love it. I told you guys about this fragrance last week, how I've been getting so many compliments when I wear this fragrance. So I really like it. I've been kind of wearing this one the most um, here recently. Now this is a um, one fluid ounce bottle and for i'm not too sure how much a one fluid ounce bottle would run you maybe like 105 something like that i don't i have the wrong size written down here um on my note in my notes but i got mine from ulta and i want to say it was like 105 95 dollars something like that so this is definitely an attention grabber if you ask me and y'all know i've told you guys before that i am a sucker for the YSL bottle. I love it. <laughs> I just love these bottles. They just look so luxe. Love the bottle, but I would definitely be repurchasing this one for sure. So the notes on this is tangerine, bergamot, lavender, taka bean, vanilla, amber, and vertiver. Vertiver. Is it vertiver? Let me look it up. Let me just see how to pronounce that girl because I get it wrong, okay? Vetiver. Vetiver. <laughs> Vetiver, okay? All right, next is a fragrance from Louis Vuitton. This is the Les Sable Roses. This one smells really good. The lady told me that this was a unisex fragrance. Um, it smells so good to me. I love this. This is probably, how much was this perfume? This was, how many? Let me see how many ounces is this one. Yeah, I think this is my most expensive perfume that I have. It smells so good. If you guys are near a Louis Vuitton, go smell this and let me know what you think. It smells really, really sexy to me. I love the way that this smells. It's really soft and I don't really like rose scents, but this is really good. The notes on this one is Rose Absolute, Rose Essence, Oud Wood, Amber, Black Pepper, and Chevron. This smells really good and this retails for $365. I did purchase this from the store and I love it. Like, mm, I love it. It smells really, really good. I'm going to spray this one on right now because I haven't worn this one in a while. So yeah, this will probably always be in my top 10. I will definitely repurchase this one for sure. Okay, next up is the Givenchy Irresistible. This is a newer purchase. Um, I think I probably had this one for maybe like three or four months, but it smells really, really nice. Mm, really, really sweet. This is a nice perfume and I do get a lot of compliments when I wear this one as well. This is a one fluid ounce bottle right here. I think this one was like, um, maybe like $85, $95 at Ulta. That's where I bought this one from. The notes on this one is pear, musk, mellow, rose, Irish, rose, Irish, musk, and Virginia cedar. This one smells really, really nice. It's very girly very very girly but this one you guys got to try this one and let me know what you think because I really really like this one next up is the Giorgio Armani my way I bought this during Christmas time last year me and my little sister both bought this well I think I bought this bottle for my little sister for Christmas and then I grabbed me one I really really like this one um, this one this is another really girly one. It's really sweet. 
which isn't something that I would typically go for, but I really, really like the way that this smells. Now the notes on this is orange blossom, tub of rose, and vanilla. So I usually mix this one right here with my Kayali. This is Deja Vu White Flower 57. I mix these two together and to me, now this is something that I came up with on my own and to me these two together kind of reminds me of the Gentle Fluidity Gold. To me. Y'all try it and let me know what you think. If you have it in your collection already, try mixing the two of these. And girl, just let me know, child. Because these are really good together. So, the Kayali also made it in my top 10. And like I said, the only reason why this made it in my top 10 was because I really like the way that these smell together. So, um, the Kayali... This one, I think I paid about, let me look up how much this retails for because I didn't write that down for whatever reason. This is the 1.7 fluid ounce and this bottle retails for $85 at Sephora. And like I said, the only, I'm not crazy about this fragrance, but I do wear it now that I've mixed it, mixed the two. Y'all, please try this and just let me know what you think. So this is the Giorgio Armani My Way with the Kayali Deja Vu White Flower 57. And tell me if it reminds you of the gentle fluidity. Just, just let me know, girl. <laughs> Next up, is that it? Oh, no. Next up is the... Valentino Born in Roma. I absolutely love this stuff. This one was also in my last year top 10 or my last year's most complimented fragrance. I wear this stuff out. I need to get a new bottle. I wear this one all the time. Um, the men's fragrance, the one that's in the black bottle, y'all know that one is unisex. So, so for the longest time, I would wear my husband's and then he bought me my own bottle because I, he was tired of me wearing his. So I need to go ahead and repurchase this because I wear it all the time. All the time. It smells really, really nice, like really good. So I'm very surprised about the price of the Valentino because it just smells so good to me. Like I'm like... This could easily go for $200 to me. It smells really, really good. Like, it smells that good to me. I don't know. I love the Valentino Born Aroma. This will probably always be, like, in my top 10 collection because I really, really like this one. This bottle retails for $108. Um, this is the 1.7 fluid ounce bottle. $108, and it smells amazing so if you don't have this one you need to grab this one for sure it smells so good the notes on this one is black currant jasmine grandy florum bourbon vanilla this stuff right here is bomb even the men's cologne bomb my son has one the newest men's valentino that just came out i can't think of the name of it but it smells so good <laughs> so just try Valentino if you haven't but I'm sure if you guys clicked on this video then you guys like fragrances and you've tried this before it's so good <laughs> next up is Chloe I think this is the original Chloe I think um, this little bottle, I think I bought this from like TJ Maxx or something like that. I just wanted to try it um, because I bought the Chloe Nomad and I don't really like that one. I don't know what it is, but I would hear people talk about the Chloe all the time and I'm like, okay, well, I did not like the Nomad, so I don't think I would like this one. Um, but I went ahead and picked it up because they had it on sale um, like last year during the Christmas time or it might have been the year before last. It might have been um, 2020. I found it in like a Burlington or a TJ Maxx or something like that for like $56 for this little small bottle. So I picked it up um, and I started wearing it and I fell in love. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I've been asleep. Okay. <laughs> I've been asleep. This smells so 
so so nice i love this fragrance it smells really really pretty so pretty and a lot of these fragrances um one of the things that, that i wasn't doing at first was really kind of judging it once the fragrance dries down because i would just smell it and just be like no girl i don't like it and don't wear none of my fragrances and i'm trying to get in the habit of wearing my fragrances because i have so many and i want to use them and now that i started letting them dry down on my skin i'm falling in love with them again so Chloe is definitely one of my faves. Like all the girls know what you're wearing when you wear Chloe. It's weird, but they know, are you wearing Chloe? That's so I get a lot of compliments when I wear this because like I said, all the girls know. So the notes in this is Fiona, um, Litchi, Phrygia, Rose, Lily of the Valley, Magnolia, Virginia, Cedar, and Amber. If you haven't tried Chloe, try it. She's good. Now this one I just purchased. This is Killian's Angel Share. This is the 1.7 fluid ounce bottle and this retails in Sephora for $1.95. But this one smells really, really nice. Really, really nice. This is different. This smells really spicy. But I really like the way that this smells. So yes, the notes on this one is cognac, cinnamon, tonka bean, oak, praline, vanilla, and sandalwood. It smells good. So I just recently purchased this. Um, I've worn this a few times. I've gotten some compliments on it. Um, she's new, she's different. She's different from the other fragrance that I have up here because like I said, she's very spicy, um, but sweet. So I really like this one. So if you haven't tried this one, check this one out. I would say it's worth the purchase. So check this one out if you haven't already. And the last one will have to be, let me take a sip. Which one do y'all think the last one is? I want to see how well you guys know me. Drum roll. Replica Sailing Day. Y'all know how I feel about this. My last perfume, I broke the bottle. Y'all told me what to do to get it transferred into this janky looking bottle that I bought from Amazon. But I got a new bottle for my birthday last year. I love this. This scent smells so good. It's nice and fresh. Just what I like. It's it's just it's so good. I love, love, love this fragrance. Like this gives you beachy vibes. Now this does give you summertime vibes outside in the sun. It just smells so, so nice. So I really, really like this one. The notes on this one is Aquatic Accord Coriander Red seaweed essence and this retails for $135 in Sephora so I really really like this one I like a lot of replica fragrances but I had to add this one to the collection but because every time I wear this one I get a lot of compliments on it a lot of you guys tried it because y'all know when I first bought it I couldn't stop wearing it I was wearing this all the time I just love it this is this I can't say that this one is my favorite but it's close this is my second bottle I love this stuff y'all already know I love it I love it I love it if you haven't tried it go check it out let me know what you think but I'm pretty sure that you girls will love it so that is my most complimented perfumes for 2022 i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know some of your favorite fragrances down in the comment section below thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys on the next one bye guys